All right, guys. So as you can see, I've got my hair up today, and that is because I am doing some work on this guitar with a soldering iron. And I told myself at the beginning of this year that this year I would not set my hair on fire with the soldering iron again. Now, guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you about a tool that I discovered recently that has made uh, soldering and just guitar mods in general much, much easier for me. Now, I know some of you might already know about this. I might be a little bit late to the party on this, but it's a really inexpensive type of soldering iron. And if you guys do any kind of soldering or any sort of mods on guitars and you didn't already know about this, I think it's definitely something you should check out and it's, it's really gonna simplify things for you. Now the project that I'm actually working on today is one of my favorite pickup mods. I'm uh, taking my Wolf S1 guitar, which is this really great neck through 24 fret shred guitar from Wolf Guitars. I actually did a video, a review video on it already. I'll put a link in the description below. But what I'm doing today is I'm just going to swap out the neck single coil for one of these dual rail uh, mini, uh, you know, one of these dual rail single coil sized humbuckers. And of course, doing a pickup swap involves some soldering. Now, in the past, I've just used one of these traditional uh, hand soldering irons like this. But the difficulty with these soldering irons is usually you need one hand just to hold the soldering iron. And then you have your other hand holding the solder. But then the, uh, the components or the wires that you're actually soldering together, they, they have to be held down in some way. And it's really difficult to do this without sort of a third hand. I've even done really ridiculous things like I'll hold the solder on my mouth and I'll hold the wire and try to go like this. And it's a really terrible way to do things and you end up, you know, breathing in the fumes and everything. I've killed enough brain cells already. I don't want to do that anymore. But I am done with this stuff because I have a new, really, really awesome tool and it is this one right here, this auto feed one handed soldering gun. Now, it's not exactly rocket science. If you look at it closely, you can see what's going on. You've got a spool of solder back here, little on off switch, a trigger, and then this pipe here feeds the solder up to the tip of the iron. And so you, you press the trigger and it makes the solder come out and it basically lets you feed and hold the solder and the gun all in one hand. This leaves your other hand free to, to do cool things like drinking tea or eating cookies. Mm. Or more importantly, it leaves your hand free to hold whatever it is that you're soldering. And guys, I cannot tell you how much I wish I'd had this before. This thing makes soldering so much easier. Now, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I don't really care so much about the particular brand. I think there are a lot of companies that take the same one and they just slap a different label on it. So I'm going to put some links in the video description below. But to be totally honest, if you end up, you know, buying a, a different brand, if it basically looks like this, it's probably the exact same thing. Now, I will show you this thing in action in just a second here. But real quick, uh, the prices of these things are really, really budget friendly. I got this one for right around $20 and it came with the solder. So it's, you know, you plug it in and you're ready to go. It's got everything you need. I've seen them even down around $15 or $16 and I've seen ones that sort of come with more accessories up around $25 or $30. And for any kind of soldering iron, that's not an expensive price and the fact that you get this whole uh, sort of wire feed setup here is really, really cool. It's kind of like using, a, you know, a wire feed welder, like a MIG welder or something like that. So now let me uh, give you guys some close-ups here and you can see how well this thing works. But real quick, guys, I always have to mention this. If you guys enjoy videos like this, affordable guitars, affordable guitar accessories and tools like this, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, now let me go ahead and move the camera and then we'll take a look at this close-up. So first of all, just using the tip to remove old solder is super easy. This is the 60 watt version, so for small solder joints like this, it can remove them really quickly. I'm going to take this ground wire off here, and this just takes a few seconds, just like that. 
And you can see as I press the trigger, it just melts the solder right onto the end there. So all you have to do is press down, pump a little solder in there, and then that's it, you're done, just like that. And when it comes to putting on the new wires, before I would have to hold the iron over here, hold the solder over here, and then somehow also hold the, uh, the wire that I'm putting on. Now I can just touch the iron on there, hold the wire in one hand and pump a little in there. And that's it, it's done. All right guys, now there's one more thing I wanna show you here. And, and again, this is something that I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with, but if you're not, this is something that's just gonna massively simplify doing electronics work and so forth. And that is these little pieces of shrink wrap tubing. This stuff is super cheap, super easy to use. And basically this is something you use when you want to cover up a solder of two wires where you have the, the solder or the bare wire exposed and you wanna cover it up. All you have to do is take uh, scissors or a little pocket knife or something like that and you just cut off a piece that's the length that you want and then you slip this just over the wire and over the, uh, over the bare wire or over the spot that you want to cover up. Once you do that, you take out a, like a lighter or a little mini torch and you just run some heat over that and it will shrink it right down and it will seal over the top of the wire. So you can seal, you know, you can cover over any sort of little pieces of exposed solder joints or exposed wire. And that's all there is to it. You just cut the length of the tubing you want, you slip it over the wire and then you heat it and it shrinks down and covers up that spot. And this tubing is super, super cheap. You can get it in different diameters and so forth. I'll put some links down below in the video description where you can find that along with that soldering iron. Now guys, on the topic of cool, super useful tools, hopefully stuff that's inexpensive, what else do you guys recommend? Because as crazy as it might sound to some of you, I was using the old school soldering iron for decades actually to, uh, to do my soldering on guitars and stuff. And having this thing, which only cost me like $20, it's totally sort of uh, just blown my mind as far as it's so, so much easier to use when I'm doing soldering and so forth. So what else do you guys recommend as far as handy, useful tools like that for guitar players? And guys, I know in this video I didn't actually show you how I did the pickup swap and that is because I've already done another video on that topic where I did this exact swap. I swapped a dual rail humbucker in place of a single coil. So I will go ahead and put a link to that down in the video description below if you want to check that out. All right, guys, I'm looking forward to reading your comments below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more if you haven't already, and I'll see you very soon.